Hi everyone, Gillian here from Create with Canva. I've got a quick tutorial for you today on a topic that people find really frustrating in Canva and that is creating a thin line. Seems crazy, it seems like the most obvious thing you should have there, but believe it or not, when you go into Elements and click on Lines, you'll see there are so many choices for lines, but these lines are all quite fancy. There's only one plain, simple line. And when you click on it, it's really thick and it doesn't have that little stretch button that allows you to just go whoop up to make a thin line. Now you can muck around with it in here and adjust sizes and things like that. But oh, I've got to tell you that requires a lot of zooming in and out and playing around. It's just not as easy as it should be. So if you want a quick workaround, we're going to get rid of that and we're going to go back to elements, click on shapes and bring up a box, a square. Now you're looking at that and going, well, how can that turn into a line? Well, actually it's really easy. What I do, if I, especially if I'm going to use a few different lines, is I create a small line template first. So what you need to do is grab that corner and resize will come up just to remind you. And you're going to bring that into quite a small box. Don't go so small that you can't work with it anymore. Just probably the equivalent of the smallest thin line that you want. So there we've got the box, click on it again and this little button here and there, stretch, is available. Now you're going to push that up as far as you can go. It won't let you go any further than that. So even if you keep moving your mouse upwards, it's going to stop there. But you can see now you've got a line. Now the thing is, is this is so much easier because now you've got your thin line First of all, I'm going to move it over there and I'm going to call it my template. So it means that I can keep playing around with different lines while retaining that really thin line shape. So I'll click on it once and I make a copy. So now I can play with this copy. Now, see, I'm going to actually resize this. Now, a bit of a hint, it is going to get into a square shape again as I go out, which can be frustrating, but it's actually got the stretch button. So quick as, straight up, as far as you can go, and there you go, you've got a thin line. Now once you've got that and you've decided on the size, especially if you want to create multiple lines on one page, it's really easy just to click copy, copy, copy. Suddenly you've got a whole stack of lines that you can use your guidelines to match up. There you go, really easy. You can again make a copy and create another size and same thing click on it stretch button up as far as it will go new size really easy way to make lines obviously everyone would like it just to be one click not currently available in Canva and I hope this updates really soon because I do hope they add that option in but at this stage this is your best workaround now don't forget you can also once you've got them there rotate those lines and you can see them on the screen you can see 270 degrees that's nice and straight so we can make lines and even create little frames if we want to now the secret is when you're matching it with your guidelines do play around with zoom to make sure you can see it really well there you go we're close you know, this is the thing about DIY graphic design, it's not perfect. Sometimes you need workarounds because it's not like programs like Illustrator where you have really, really minimal changes you can make in there because it's, it's designed for in-depth design knowledge and, and understanding the program. You do have to be adaptable in a program like Canva and here's one of the ways you can do it with lines. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this is really helpful in your designs going forward. Don't forget to share them and I'll talk to you soon.